dear students you all have studied the filters in analog electronics subject and you know that filters are the frequency selective devices that is filters allow only those frequency components present in input signal say input signal is x of omega t here it is filter now and the output will be y of omega dash t that is the input signal here is comprising of various frequency components in it and of those frequency components only the required frequency components will be allowed to pass through and those frequency components of input signal which are allowed to pass through the filter will appear as output of the filter and to do so the filter will have to be designed that is which frequency components are to be allowed to pass through and which are not to be allowed to pass through for that a filter is to be designed in analog electronic subject you studied that filters are designed using the circuit components such as capacitors and inductors analog filters are implemented using resistors inductors and capacitors but in case of digital filters resistors inductors and capacitors are not used instead digital filters will be having an impulse response of h of n where h of n is nothing but a sequence of real numbers a sequence of real numbers so you can represent a digital filter by h of n input to the digital filter is say in time domain x of n and output of the digital filter is say y of n for implementing digital filter we need devices such as digital signal processor or cpu like in case of analog filter here also 
to have the required frequency components in output signal when the input signal x of n is given to the filter and x of n is having various frequency components in it h of n is to be designed that is h of n must be defined finding h of n is nothing but designing of a digital filter to find h of n we need the desired frequency response we need desired frequency response so the specification for designing digital filter is nothing but the desired frequency response hd of e raised to j omega using hd of e raised to j omega desired frequency response in time domain is calculated by applying inverse fourier transform to desired frequency response hd of e raised to j omega the hd of n obtained by taking inverse fourier transform of hd of e raised to j omega will be an infinite duration discrete time signal defined for all values of n ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity the digital filters designed by considering all the infinite samples of impulse response are called as iir filters so let us first define what is an iir filter before we define iir filter let us first write here analog filter and here digital filter the specification of a digital filter will be desired frequency response capital hd of e raised to j omega the desired frequency response hd of n of the digital filter can be obtained
by taking inverse Fourier transform of HD of E raised to J omega. Now the HD of N will be an infinite duration discrete time signal defined for all values of n in the range of minus infinity to plus infinity. the filters obtained in bracket you can write designed by considering all the infinite samples of impulse response are called IIR in bracket you can write infinite impulse response filters but what happens in case of digital domain is the processing of infinite samples of impulse response becomes impossible hence direct design of IIR filter is not possible therefore the IIR filters are designed via analog filters it means that in design of IIR filter specification of an analog filter 
and an analog filter with transfer function capital H of S is designed to satisfy the specification. Then the analog filter is transformed to digital filter with transfer function H of Z. So in this chapter we are going to learn how actually a digital filter is designed that is IIR digital filter is designed by going through all these processes right so here designing process is a little bit involved and you have to move very cautiously while designing the filters right here it's very very important to know IIR digital filters are not designed directly but they are designed via analog filters. In a digital domain The processing of infinite samples of impulse response is practically not possible hence direct design of IIR filter is not possible. Therefore, an IIR filter is designed via analog filters In design of IIR filter, the specification of an
IIR filter is transformed to specification of an analog filter and an analog filter with transfer function H of S is designed to satisfy the specification then the analog filter is transformed to distal filter with transfer function H of Z but whenever but whenever we design any device or a system its operation should be always stable. Likewise, the designed IIR filter should be stable here in its operation and also it should be a causal system. The design transfer function of the filter should represent a stable and causal system for stability and causality of an analog filter the analog filter 
ट्रांसफर फंक्शन शुड सेटिस्फाई the following requirements see here for our distal filter to be stable and causal the analog filter via which we are designing digital filter should also be stable and causal and for that there are some requirements what are those requirements then let us see here one by one first one the h of s should be a rational function of s and the coefficients of s should be real second point or second requirement you can say the poles should lie on the left half of s plane third one the number of poles must be more than or equal to more than or equal to number of zeros for stability and causality of digital filter the transfer function of digital filter should satisfy the following requirements
फर्स्ट वन दी एच ऑफ जेड शुड बी a rational function of z and the coefficients of Z should be real. The poles of H of Z should lie. inside the unit circle in z plane third one the number of zeros should be less than or equal to number of poles then definitely you must have a question now what is that is if so many requirements are to be fulfilled and when digital filter cannot be designed directly why should we have it for that reasons are there and those reasons now we will write as advantages of digital filters the values of registers capacitors and inductors used in analog filters change with temperature since digital filters do not have these components they have
हई थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी इट सिंपली मीन दैट वित् चेज इन टेम्परेचर दि पर्फॉर्में आफ् डिजिटल फिलटर विल नाट चेज एज इट does not use resistors capacitors and inductors whereas the analog filters lose their stability and their performance goes down with increase in temperature as the values of resistors capacitors and inductors change with temperature in the beginning we discussed that Digital filters are implemented using digital signal processor or CPU. In digital filters, the precision of the filter depends on the length, that is, size of the resistor used to store the filter coefficients. the filter coefficients here are nothing but the real numbers in the sequence h of n hence by increasing the register bit length that is hardware the performance characteristics of the filter like accuracy dynamic range stability and frequency response can be enhanced so just note this point in digital filters the precision of the filter depends on the registers used store the filter coefficients hence by increasing register bit length it is hardware part so we'll write here in hardware the performance characteristic of the filter like accuracy dynamic range stability and frequency response
tolerance can be enhanced the most important advantage of distal filter is the distal filters are programmable which means that simply by changing the coefficients of filter we can change the performance characteristic of filter but in case of analog filters to change the performance characteristic we will have to change the values of resistors capacitors and inductors sometimes what happens is we do not get the required values of resistor or capacitor or inductor or all of these and hence we cannot achieve or hence we cannot obtain the required characteristic of the filter at all but in case of digital filter you can type in any number you can type in any number which is real one the digital filters are remember we are writing here advantages means these are the mostly advantages over analog filter hence the filter coefficients can be changed at any time to implement adaptive filters to implement adaptive features that means to implement a filter according to our requirements fourth advantage a single filter can be used to process multiple signals by using techniques of multiplexing because here we can write program in such a way that at different times the filter coefficients will change automatically digital filters have got certain disadvantages also will note those disadvantages disadvantages of digital filters first one
the bandwidth of the discrete signal is limited by the sampling frequency what is sampling frequency and what is nyquist's rate of sampling that you have studied in signals and systems subject of your fourth semester the bandwidth of real discrete signal is half the sampling frequency because we know that sampling frequency has to be at least twice the highest frequency component present in the signal second one the performance of the digital filter depends on the hardware used to implement the filter next we'll look at important features of IIR filters first one the physically realizable IIR filters do not have linear phase. Second one. the iir filter specifications include the desired
characteristic for the magnitude response only but not for phase response